Before I get into today's tropical update, because there is plenty to talk about, I do want to remind you it's the winter solstice and also we have the great conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn going on as viewed from Earth. You look into the southwestern sky anywhere on Earth, doesn't matter where you're watching this video, just after sunset, you'll be able to see two bright stars very close together. That is Jupiter and Saturn. They're very far apart, but from our view, they're close together. First time seen since the 1200s from our point of view. Uh, if you get any photos of it, send me a message on Twitter or Facebook and I'll try to get them in my next video update. Anyways, let's talk about our tropics because there is plenty to go on here. So thanks for just bearing with me with that fun fact. We still have what's left of Vicky or Kraven out here into uh, areas east of Vietnam, west of the Philippines. Big, broad shear line bringing some messy weather across Taiwan over towards Okinawa as well and stretching south of mainland Japan. And I have another area all the way off here towards the east, southeast of Guam. I'm keeping a very close eye on this one. I know a lot of people got questions about it, so let's touch quickly on this. There is a low chance of development through Christmas. I'm not terribly worried about a typhoon, but an increased chance of rainfall for the Philippines Christmas Eve Christmas Day, maybe the day after Christmas. This is actually with the global forecasting system, the GFS model, heading into Christmas Eve. This actually kind of spins up a weak area, a low pressure area here. Like I said, it has to stay south of the monsoon though. So this far south, it's gonna be kind of a blob. Signs indicate to something similar to what we've seen here with Vicky, with another round of rainfall. And I'm stressing this because it's not the worst storm on earth right now but it's bringing additional rainfall possibly heading into christmas across these areas which have been seeing severe flooding this past week thanks to the rains brought in by vicky so you get some more rain on top of already saturated ground the ground just can't it can't soak it up anymore it's saturated just imagine if you ran a sponge underwater then you try to run it underwater again the, the second time it just the water's going to flow right around it it's not going to soak it up that's exactly what's going to be happening here uh, if this does kind of bring in that surge of moisture which signs like i said do indicate from christmas eve christmas and this is the day after christmas with that flow coming in behind it even seeing some additional rainfall possible across northeastern areas of luzon as well so definitely keeping a very close eye on this as we go ahead over the next few days. Meanwhile, the bigger picture, the monsoon continues to dominate eastern areas of uh, China over towards Korea with that high pressure. The sea effects snow across Japan is starting to finally taper off, but look at this, just beast of a low. That is the Aleutian low starting to spin up out there. That thing is deep. I feel bad for shipping traffic. I digress, but that, I just had to point that out. Look at those winds with that. All right, so the tail end of this though, kind of as it pushes towards the south with that shear line, is bringing those breezy conditions across the Luzon straight down through Vietnam as well, where we have, well, what is left of Vicky, also known as Kraven. I say what is left because, um, Jay may stop warning on this. It's drifting towards the west. Can you find the center of circulation here? I have a hard time finding it. Uh, it's there. It's kind of mixed up in here, but the thing is, it's broad, and that it's just basically on the southern edge of all this convection. When we see that, we know that this is sheared apart. It's not organized at all. Doesn't mean there's nothing here. It's just that broad area of low pressure is not going to be spinning up into a quote unquote warm core low tropical system. It's still plenty of rainfall. It's still interacting with the monsoon. And thus we are going to continue to see an increase in precipitation across eastern areas of Vietnam and down towards southern Vietnam, along with those gale force conditions continuing to push on shore as we go ahead through the um, start of your week. I know this is Saturday. It's supposed to be Tuesday here. So let's take a look at three day rainfall. We still have flow back here towards the north and east across northern areas of Luzon with that showers, uh, parts of a northern Cagayan. Meanwhile, back towards the west, you have that flow coming on shore with our tropical depression. I don't call it a tropical depression anymore. Area of low pressure, bringing some areas of more 50 to 100 millimeters of additional rainfall. Definitely a chance of flooding and even landslides here in central and northern areas of, or actually central and southern areas of Vietnam. So plenty to talk about here. As I mentioned, here's the main points though. Water levels remain high on the Kakiyan River. The Maga Dam still releasing water. Now people have been writing me saying it's not as high as it was with Ulysses and Raleigh. 
but it's still high enough to cause some flooding. Actually, there's been some water rescues out there. So that's still something we're continuing to, uh, to watch, especially with that chance of additional rainfall heading into the Christmas holiday. Vicky is continuing the week and yet still impacting Vietnam. And as I mentioned at the start, there is that Christmas storm in the forecast. All right. Getting photos, videos of um, anything you see out there, some rough weather. Share them with me. I always appreciate that. I didn't put any in this one, but I typically do try to share them with you guys as well. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I know everybody says that. I know I say I feel I feel cliche saying it at the end of the videos, but it honestly does make a difference as far as the analytics, especially maybe not with this video, but when we got a major typhoon, the higher subscribe channels get shared out more and thus the word of a major impacting storm can be shared out more. So just do me a favor, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button or hit the like button. Uh, follow me on these social media platforms as well. I post more often here, especially Twitter. I post there quite often. Same with my Facebook page and uh, do some other stuff on Instagram and TikTok. So check that stuff out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Check out that great conjunction. It's going to be super cool. I know I'm going to be up all night. I got to work tonight. I work multiple jobs, but I got to work tonight. So I'll be taking a look at that, maybe trying to get some photos myself. Thanks for watching.